Hi teachers, welcome to week 11 in Principles and Practices of Middle School. I'm looking forward to reading your papers about your interviews and tour and also your discussions from the last couple weeks on student-centered learning. We're going to continue with that topic when we look at curriculum integration, so, which is what chapter 10 is about. What it looks like, curriculum integration, what it looks like in real life. And so after you read chapter 10 in Brown and Knowles, what I'd like for you to do is I would like for you to select an article you can put your name up on the Google Doc here. This week or this month's feature article in educational leadership is Learning for Life. And I felt that many of the articles aligned well with what we are talking about in the last two chapters. So I would like for you to sign up for one of the articles on the Google form here, which there should be plenty of choices. I put the articles down here. So, and I would like a couple of other things. I have a Google form here to ask for your input about our final major assessment. If you notice or read back in the syllabus that we began the semester with, I had that I wanted you to complete a Glogster assignment and then a service learning project. However, the more I've reread chapter 9 and 10, and then also 11 in our Brown and Knowles book, I have felt that it was hypocritical of me to talk about student-driven instruction and then have me as the teacher tell you what to do. So I would like for you to fill out this Google form with what you would like to see yourself create for your own students and for your own classroom. I feel very comfortable in asking this of you because I teach a graduate class called Curriculum Development and Instruction, and that is exactly what we do, is the teachers choose a concept and then a thematic concept, and they develop an integrated unit around that concept. So anyway, I'm just thinking for you, to think about some type of performance-based assessment that you would like to work with your future students. And it can go along with your inquiry project, that would be great, or something different. And also you have the opportunity to work with someone or individually, whatever you feel that you would like to do. Also, one last thing, I do have some last year's, a cup three of the inquiry-based project examples. I have more if you'd like to look at them, but just to give you an idea of what they have done, I also included a couple of the um, Google Hangouts so that you could see that's how we presented them last year which I thought it went well, but then there were students that worked in the evening and did not appreciate that they had to attend the Google Hangouts, although it was optional. So anyway, that's why we've made the change for this semester. That being said, if you have any questions about your assignment for this week, please, please post them to the D2L Ask a Question area. I look forward to 
assessing reading through your projects. And again, I hope that you have a great week. Thanks for listening.